The future of copper mining in White Pine brought 150 residents to a town hall meeting. No, it took place it last night in Ontonagon. Highland Copper Company presented their proposal to build a new mine site north of the existing copper mine in White Pine. TV6's Houghton Hancock Bureau reporter Sarah Blakely tells us about the possible mining of the existing copper reserve. The first year of a two-year initial feasibility study by Canada-based Highland Copper Company to determine the plausibility of reopening the White Pine Mine is finished, with one year of drilling to go. Project manager Carlos Bertoni says the study is expected to be completed by June 2015, when Highland Copper will have a better grasp on the exact amount of copper reserves at the site and how much the project might cost. How are we going to mine it? How are we going to extract it? the ore, how we bring it to the surface, how we process it, how we ship it. Bertoni says an estimated two billion pound copper reserve remains from the closing of the mine in the 90s when the price of copper hit an all-time low. But now the price of copper is about three dollars per pound, nearly five times the price 20 years ago, and steadily rising, meaning the reopening of the mine could be a good sign for the county. We're seeing very good in emerging nations in the uh, Far East and in the Near East and what have you. Uh, a demand coming back for that. But the mine would only last about another 20 years if it did reopen. So an important part of the study involves community collaboration to ensure economic sustainability after the mine closes. We want to integrate this development with community skills, with other economic activities, doing things or doing businesses that we don't want to be doing ourselves. The great examples are the water infrastructure, uh, the electric infrastructure, uh, some of the transportation, touring and manufacturing. After the initial feasibility study is complete, another study will be conducted to determine how the copper will be mined using advanced technologies that will conclude in early 2016. Sarah Blakely, TV6 News, Ontonagon.